And I know we talked about like shooting um, production stuff, but Rob and I, when we talk together, it's so funny. Rob gets like in his zone, you know? Oh my God, it's hilarious. Um, so I think- car, dude. That's my neighbor's spot. <laughs> to where? We don't have anywhere else here. What about that one? You look to the side right there, man. You can fuck on the side. Like right there? Yeah, over there. It's literally- Abby? Me and Gavin don't really know what's going to happen with this film or whatever, but it's a tiny crew and it's literally me doing any job at hand that I can help out with, whether it's sound and just recording the documentary in the meantime. Uh, Gavin's directing, Rob is our cinematographer, and Ethan is sound. And it's just the four of us in a Volvo station wagon with no equipment really, <laughs> except a reflector for most stuff. Um, the most bare bones that we can do, so. I don't know. Um, he showed up. God, he walks fast. Boys, he's always early. Time, early as well. Fantastic. You ready to go? Uh, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Let's wait for Rob, and then let's. Uh... And then while I was falling asleep last night, this lady, I swear to God, for half an hour, just screaming at the top of her lungs for no fucking reason. Now my question to you is: Were any of them wearing Doc Martens? No, no, they were not. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, what happened yesterday? My boots got stolen. This is a fool, man. Fucking guy. This fucking guy. All right, let's go. What? You can't be late every day, Rob. I know. How are you this late? I'm gonna call your I wife. Take shower at time. Don't take showers. You dumb, take showers. Dumb. You take a shower. Then we go in, we do medium on her, close up, slow-mo close up on her, and then slow-mo of her sign, mm -hmm. flip it around, same things, yeah. medium on him, slow-mo close up on him, slow-mo on his sign, and then we're done with them. Rebecca, it's Rebecca, yeah. she's got the flu right now, so don't touch her. Oh my god. Yeah, this poor girl, she's like, got the chills. When did she catch you? I don't know, she texted me this morning, saying, we're gonna get in the car, and we're gonna go to do sax battle, which is at one, I believe, one o'clock, maybe 12.30. Um, and then, I don't know how long that one's gonna take. I really don't. <laughs> like, it's not a lot of shots. What are you laughing Sorry, about, Sorry, entirely, I'm not used to it. <laughs> not used to it at all. It's fine, you'll get used to it. What's a slur for an Australian person? I don't Aussie. know. An Aussie? That's no, not a slur. That's not a slur, kangaroo. though. A kangaroo. A kangaroo. That's kangaroo. You don't, you, I wouldn't like walk up and call someone an Aussie. Ethan, how, how, uh, what is the quality of the mic that I gave you? The lofts? Not fantastic. But is it like usable? What makes it not fantastic? It's just, it has a lot of, uh, the preamps are like fucked. So. Which is our fucking real? No, 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 here's the thing. It's really insulting. We don't know that. No, 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 no. no. Here's, no, here's the thing, though, is that, like, this whole thing is about, like, the mythology of witches, but it's it's about how ignorant people reacted to the mythology of witches. You know, it's about their own biases 
and their own like very bizarre religious beliefs and so you watch it not believing that there are witches you watch it thinking like man these people are going nuts about a concept that doesn't exist you know and just how absurd people's you know, psych psyche and, and, and the thought yeah, process. No, was you weren't high watching the news, dude? <laughs> oh no, I'm just a really smart guy. But there wasn't actually a actually very smart resourceful Tyler, thank you. Third. I thought there was two. Maybe it just didn't fit on the page. Shot plan for them walking out? Yeah. Do a What's the other shot? Part, part, part. Um, in front of the two of them. Okay. so far I'm astonished that we got the last shot off so fast um, but I'm not I'm not confident that we're gonna be able to sound mix it together as well as I think in my head I don't know you see um, and it might be a little stiff it might be just a little bit stiff not the audio but like they weren't they didn't move enough man they didn't fucking move enough they're so robotic I mean yeah they're playing a fucking saxophone but god damn it thank you at least the waitress loves me uh, hopefully that the um because Zelda's a little bit of a racist warmonger at the beginning of Ocarina of Time when you think about it yeah and white supremacy a little bit so then she learns to be like not a white supremacist but like you know You can go see it there at the film festivals, but they don't want you to like put it for free anywhere. Yeah, oh yeah, let, let us know even in the okay. festival. Okay, all right, all right, let's do this before we lose light. All right, yeah. and learn about it and catch up, and then you'll be okay. This guy, this guy's talking through the whole thing. I swear to God. And action. Let's start rubbing. Whenever you're ready, buddy. I'm trying to buy the block back and make it black. I'm trying to make. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. Oh, come on, man. You look like oh, an actor. Man, I'm at the worst point in my life. What the hell would I want? Would I offer myself to be a movie? Even if it was rehab, I wouldn't be. I went back to Costa Mesa. I went to College Hospital. And there wasn't any beds there. They sent me to uh, Long Beach, and I've been here ever since. Oh, did you go to St. Mary's? Oh, yeah, I've been there. No, but I went to college. Oh, I'm, my God. Yeah, it's on Pacific. All right, man, you have no, a good one. Me, Thank you very much. Of course. Um, yeah, so if those ones don't fit, then let's go with this one. Let's go with this current pan. Those ones are too stylized. Yeah. 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 Uh, here's what we need to do. All right, Mark, I'll be right back, OK? Yeah, like a god oh, model. Yeah, like we were idea. filming in Gavin's house and I had to get like between his fridge yeah. to get a shot. And Rob freaked Fucking out. roaches everywhere. Oh, a roach. No, one no, no, roach. Was like, and it was like dead. I it was and it there. was dead and Rob no, was like, eh. no, 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 no. There was fucking roaches, like little tiny ones all behind your fridge. Dude, you should have seen because like a week later, Ugh. a week later, I wake up in the morning and I hear this like humming and this scratching. What the fuck is that? I go in my kitchen and there's like, it, it gets louder. I pull my fridge back and there's just like literally hundreds of roaches on the wall. Disgusting. And, and then the I and, and I call my <laughs> landlord and he comes in there. And he's like, oh, cockroaches, cockroaches. And he has this, he has pesticide in this. He's like pumping his pesticide, spraying it all <laughs> oh, over my place, God. on my dishes. And I was like, really, mini DV? That's like, I don't know about that. But uh, especially all in real time. 
I can't do this. <laughs> Not today. I'm sorry. All right, what would a homeless guy get? What do you want? Hey, get a beer. We can we can drink in the park. It's fine. Um, Hello. Hello. I don't want to go to these. I gotta do it for the production, man. Like, I'm just committed to the craft of filmmaking. How else are we gonna get an empty bottle? Bench is just like over there. Okay, and uh, yeah. Do you have an actress for me, by the way? <laughs> yeah, what happened? Did he explain this to you? He said that he was gonna say play anything Rebecca. to them. Or Rachel. Uh, or Brooklyn, okay. Whatever the hell her name was. Rebecca, yeah. Dude, she's not. I'm actually kind of worried about her health. Oh, she's never sick. No, that Rebecca. Remember she was sick? And now she's not responding at all? Yeah, I'm kind of scared she's dead. about her. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. You don't know don't that. Worry. Hey, 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 hey. Like <laughs> this guy. God, you like doing all right today, wasted, e? dude. Huh? He's, he's so fucked up. Slurred. Of course. My sound guy's going to be just like, speeding. <laughs> the boom keeps throwing in the shot. No, no, I, what I want to... Tyler, I need to talk to you, for real, please. Yeah. it's too long on you guys before I Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's breaking the illusion. That's fine, that's fine. We'll do that. Is this one like to get notes? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean that wasn't perfect? <laughs> oh, nobody should ever tell me how I do. Staying around the longest yeah. out of all of my actors. Yeah. And I was not sure how it was going to be to have like a practically seven year old dude hanging out for fucking 12 hours with this kind of bullshittery going on, you know? Yeah. Oh. This right here, that's the uh, liberal protester, and right there, that's the Republican protester. Um, Gavin's uh, flatmate has stolen the talent's phone, and she's going bonkers, looking for it, calling the cops, uh, confronting the landlords, accusing them of stealing their phone, writing down their license plate number, she she got right in his, she's like I got your license plate number because she saw him leave the door and he's already pissed because Gavin and I talked to him he was like yeah. tying it she was like yeah you already talked to me on the phone and Gavin's like he was so nice last night I don't know what happened I'm like well maybe because you know you brought all this crap into his life and you're like mildly accusing him yep. you know yep so she went out chased him down she's like I got I got friends in the police. Gavin's gonna get kicked out of this place. You think so? That's uh, like she she yelled at. All of which is very much justifiable, might I add. Obviously, there's no way for us to prove it, so I'll ask him and be like, "Hey, do you have your cell phone? Like, you just want a cell phone back." So, I'll ask them, but again, since and nobody no saw that person take it, and there's no video of him taking it, there's no way for us to prove that it was them. I'm fucking hungry, though. Everything smells good. Damn. Poor Monique. 
I think if it had been anybody else, they might have handled the situation a little bit better. But we need to a little bit desperate. I'm just saying, I, I would act the same way as her. I mean, I don't know though. At a certain point, you have to kind of give up. Yeah. I was thinking about it. Your landlords probably are going to kick you out. They are? They run a trap house, right? Yes. They do? Yes. And you got cops called to their house? Yeah, they're they're not pleased with me, to say the least. Plus, I also brought people that weren't being booked, you know? Not in, you know, like the... Or not, not to stay, but I just brought them, and uh, one of them throws a fucking fit. Accuses yeah. them of stealing. Accuses them of stealing. Runs up on that lady and honks at her. She know. was writing down their license plate numbers and shit. Dude, I, everybody's license plate numbers. I mean, shit, I've had a phone stolen before, you know? That being said, like, I'm not struggling. <laughs> yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. The way certain crew members of this shoe feel towards you is how a majority of people who work for you feel towards you. And so that's you wonder why people are like, don't want to work. People fucking me? like, why people fucking hate Gavin? It's because you get one guy like this, and then you get like another guy like, like that, and then they talk, and then they talk to other people. And then everyone's like, oh yeah, I can kind of get that fucking vibe. Well, and they're like, oh yeah, fuck. Let's see, what's he, he's what angry, he angry because, about? what is he angry about, that he, but I'm not going to pay for his boots? Um, is that what he's pissed about? No, it's, it's almost, Tyler, how do you break it down? Like, it's I not down for like, what the fuck is this? Like, why are we sitting around for an hour? Yeah, well, why are we like yeah. sitting here in the sun? Why was this not planned? Man, I fucking like put up my whole day for free. Yeah. You know, why is, why is this homeless guy handing me shorts? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know I know. I, mean? I know, I know, I know. And this is why it gets, it's impossible to find people to do this kind of stuff. You but know? But this is also toppled with your... The way you talk to your crew sometimes, I don't give a shit. Because I, 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 I think it's for show when it comes to you. <laughs> no, no, listen, the way I talk to my crew is I'm trying to... I'm just trying to get... I, I want you guys to be an extension of myself. Yeah, we're all equals. You know, in which, it, you know, there's there's no, there's no, like, proper dialect I'm supposed to use or tone or whatever because you guys are just, you know, I'm like, even there. That's how I, that's how I talk to you, Rob, because then it's like, that's the most simple instruction I can give. It's just like, I need, <laughs> Robert, I need you just to be there. It's technical. It's the easiest way for me to say it. I don't have time and I literally don't, my brain is moving so fast that I don't have time to be like, okay, can everybody stop on set here and then we're going to move over to this area? No, I, don't no, have, no. I can't fucking do that. You can't find a middle ground of being effective while also not being uh, perceived as an asshole. <sighs> this is, here's the thing, it's like, I don't perceive other people as being an asshole for something like that. Neither do I. You know? and, and like, I do. <laughs> but I also don't care because I get like people, I get like why you say the things the way you say them. Yeah. But some people can be like... I know, I know. You know? When I was whipping... Dude, I remember I was working with Jake. And I was talking to Jake the way I talked to you guys. And Jake got upset. Like, he wouldn't... Like, halfway through the shoot, he wouldn't talk to me anymore. Yeah. Uh, and, like, that was... I found that really bothersome because I thought, like... I mean, put your fucking ego aside and, you know... <laughs> like, I'm... I'm... I, you know... I'm we, the director. No, 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 no. It was... That's how it comes off. I know, I know. But that's not... How, the intent of it, you know, the intent of it is is me being frazzled and being like, yes. come on, let's like, we gotta go. And that's how I get it. And but so also, you I'm, get I'm it. I'm pretty patient, and also I find it kind of funny. Yeah, I know, and I find it funny too, Rob. It's like, like the the way that I like, you know, can bitch at you, and and you just like are on it, and then roll your eyes. Yeah, it's, you know? it's a Gavin charm, but other people won't call it a charm. I know. I know. <laughs> call it like, oh, what a dick. I try, I've, dude, I tried really nice. I tried to be as nice to Ethan as I possibly could, but, woo! Uh, I, I don't know, so I think he's just, here's the, here's the worst part though, is that um, he's not gonna, I can't use the sound equipment anymore. 
So now we don't have sound equipment. And let me say that he said he's going to leave it with us. Nope, he's he's taking it. Did he, he said, say he wasn't going to help out anymore? Yeah. That well, was it? Well, he was like, you know, we need to talk at the end of the day. And I'm like, well, about what? He's being kind of, um, well, what's the word? And Gavin, let me say what you just said. What? The worst part is that we won't have his equipment. Yeah. That's kind of like... Not the right thing to say. No, no, here's the thing though. Is that You're thinking like, like, I'm focused on this project, which is cool. That's like what a director should, you know. Yeah, I mean. Or I'm, what an AD should. I know, but I mean, but, I, I think, I think. We uh, just have to find a new. I think no, you think, guys should be worried that you burned out a kid. You know what I mean? Because he was down at one point, right? Dude, he was so down. Uh, when I sent like out, burned him out when, dude. I, when I sent out an email to people uh, wanting to be part of this film, uh, he was the one that responded first and was like super gung ho and asked yeah. if he could also like come help be part of pre-production. So he was like really interested, but I don't think that he was aware of the way that we were gonna do this. Yes, but also you as like a boss and like an elder, you know what I mean? He's twenty years old, man. This is already what day? This is like five? day five. Day five, and these are long days, you know. Uh, it could be longer. Just say that. You gotta make it worth it for your crew, dude. If, I know. If I it's, know. If it's not like a, a a job, but it's more like just fucking shitting around with your friends, which is what you think it is. Right. But it it's not like that to other people who aren't like you. Yeah, well, the, the biggest thing is, like, trying to convince people to do something that I, A, for no pay. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. And shit, honestly, if I could pay people, I would. I would. I, I just can't. I either, I can't, I can't make this without, uh, you know, like, I can't, I can't pay people. You want a King Taco? Yeah, you want to go to Hell it? yeah. <laughs> okay. Because this is gear, like, I got in high school. Sure, sure, sure. So, sure. it's good. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna thank you. Mm -hmm. Where's your, your car's over there? Yeah. Okay, will you take this stuff, Rob? Okay, all right, well, you're good to go. Um, yeah, no. He doesn't want his car. No. Yeah, I get you. I just don't think because, it is. No, no, no. I you, think people just hire like a holes because they like. Yeah, yeah. See. Because yeah. nobody knows how to be assertive while being nice. It's impossible. It's hard. You can't be like, hey guys, can you guys be ready? Like you have to be like, you have to be ready in three minutes or else you're done. Or else see? people are gonna be. Why is there a jump from like you're fucking, you're fucking out of here, dude? Well, no, you gotta say? be. One must be like, hey man, like you no. have three minutes or else we're gonna start without you. Hey like, guys, we need, we we really need to roll in three minutes. Like how much time do you guys need? I don't know. But it's almost not even a tone. It's like a. It's a communication manipulation. I feel like people work harder for people that they want to, well, people also, they respect. Yeah, I know, but it's also a money thing, you know? Yeah, too. If you pay people, they're gonna if work I way fucking people, hard. If I pay people, they're gonna give a shit more, but like, uh, yeah, people don't want to be barked at on their day off. What are you pointing at, dude? You see that, Tyler? Yeah, yeah, nobody wants to be barked at on their day off. They want to feel like they're making something fun, but at the exactly. same time, I've got, four different locations to go to in one day. I've got five shots for everything. You know, I've got to give my actors notes. And you know, and I'm also- More reason that on a freeloader set, you should probably be more nice than- I know, I know. Than but fucking I, grumps. Like I worked for, here's a perfect example. I worked for this girl named Angelica, who I thought was like, I consider her one of the greatest mentors I've ever had. And she was a producer. And she would be the AD on the sets that we would do. And she, used me like a like a fucking labor horse you know mm -hmm. and and like i she barked at me all day long but it was like i was ready to jump to it because i wanted to work for her and i was working for free as well yeah but why'd you, you want know? to work for her because because i cared about what we were making that's why because because she cared so much about what we were making and because i knew her job was on the line and yeah. she had to make her day respect her yeah i know i know but but so the thing is, is people don't respect me I get it, and then the, if they also don't give a fuck about what, like, he didn't read the script. He didn't. You know? He, he, and that was, like, detrimental, because he was getting 
shocked and shocked and shocked. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Dude, if you yeah. read the script, you would have known. You'd get it more, you know. But like, if he, so like, he also just doesn't give a fuck about what we're making, you know. Which he I just get. Like, like I've, all... I've worked on a lot of sets where I don't give a shit about what I'm making either, and it's like I try to punch in and punch out. But the thing is, like, I'm not grumpy to especially the people who are telling me what to do. You know, I'm not like, okay, fine. You know, or I mean, I guess he wasn't like that over. Damn, dude, he's gonna hate us when he watches this doc, right? <laughs> yeah, we can only us three can watch this. Totally want the stolen from great sketch. I said I fucking love you so much, you're my angel. Oh, thank no, no, no. you. Fake that, fake that one for him. You know? Yeah. Give him like, no, I said I love you so much. Oh, I, said, I said I love you so much, you're my angel. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. Um, all right, can I have you guys like sitting down here so we can? Uh, I want to do a run. Uh, oh my god, this is such hashtag cute couple stuff. Oh, 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 we should grab it, we should grab it. Alright, ready? Yeah. Action. Cat! Cow! Cat! Cow! Cat! Cat! God damn it, Karen! No, you know what? You. You're out of here! Name is Elder Price. And I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Is you that know? the Book of Mormon? Yeah. I haven't seen it. I've heard nothing but amazing things. It's fantastic. Let's start on him right here. Let's start, uh, so Robert, will you stand here? And then other Robert, will you stand at where I am? Yeah. Wait, uh, wait. So look towards the basket over there. And you're dribbling. And then, like, Rob, tap him here. And then he passes to Boss. Cool. They look like right here. Well, no, I think they're good where they're at. Okay. Like, just on the left of Rob's right. head. Okay. Uh, you good? Are you good? You're good with everything we got? Yeah. Ty? Uh, come on. Wait, I'm... Say again. So, start at the three-point line. Somebody else has to do this. I don't know how to focus. What are you saying, dude? Um, they're gonna, um, take it. Take the camera. Yeah, yeah, but what are you saying? Uh, he's gonna run by for a dunk. So, get where I was. Sit on, the on the floor? Yeah. Oh shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, I thought today was gonna be so much more casual. It has been a fucking. It's been an epic tale from start to finish, dude. I mean, good fucking god. I feel like you have to cut something out. I think I'm gonna get rid of Brooklyn and Jocelyn. That was not strong. It's too YouTube y. I don't think it's cinematic. I know. It doesn't make sense to put it in context with an entire film where they're like... I mean, there's like foolish shit like this, but... I don't know, it seems like that, at least that stuff is like on a higher scale. Maybe. Some more thought behind it. I mean, even the way we shot Brooklyn and Jocelyn was just like cheap. Like super cheap. Uh, like, you know, which is sucks because I spent the most on their costumes and their props and all that fucking shit. Say when we're clear, Shit Fabian. Fucking day. Alright. Ready? Got it? There we go. Can you hear that siren? We just keep getting cars driving by that there's no like clear. There's no... You think getting in the car is worth it? Fabian says no, pretty much. No, oh, it's fine. It's the same. Yeah, if you want us to repeat because of something, just... We will do. Yeah, we'll just do. definitely. Okay. What fuck happened today? Dude, today was such a fucking shit show. I think it was mostly... Okay, dude. I'll talk about this more with Rob's here, but like... You guys were confusing the shit out of me. My mind was fucking spinning. You both were saying two different things, and I thought we were doing one thing, and then I'd say one of your guys' fucking things, and then you would fucking be like, oh, no, no, oh, I thought we were doing this. I thought we were doing what you are doing. I'm like, no, I was going to do what you were doing. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Fucking insane. All right, whatever, whatever. I know. <laughs> put, a smile, put a smile on. Uh, you have ranch? Ranch? Uh, the ranch is our $6,000. Sorry, wow. buddy. I know that's, that's, that's your budget right there. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I get ranch, I'm gonna have to cancel tomorrow. 
You're gonna have to do sound tomorrow, but sorry. So much for your documentary, dude. It is a pretty simple day. No actors today, thank God. Really? Hell yeah. And no. what are we shooting? And we're shooting a bunch of like the you inserts guys? and the pickup stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be Tyler and that kind of stuff. We're shooting this one, three shots, one over there, you one right there, and then, I don't know, what it, you thought you could like do the shot of the speedo floating in the water from there. Then we'll do garage sale sign on the car. We're gonna do one, a homeless dude sleeping with the sign. We're gonna do uh, looking up at a billboard that says garage sale. Homeless dude sleeping with the sign. Yes. Who's that gonna be? Oh my God. Do you just go to an area where there are just homeless people? And put a sign next to him? No, you say, hey dude, you want five bucks? Oh my God. And then he's gonna say, That's about right. yes. Five bucks to hold the sign? Hold Five bucks to hold the sign, dude? I would do that. Anybody would do that. I'd do that, yeah. Never felt so exposed in my entire life. I practically have like a nut hanging out. <laughs> well, this is unbearable. Let's the see, last thing I want to see, see is oh, Ty yeah. in one of these things. Okay, Tyler, this is yours. This is this is Tyler's. Yikes! Right? He gets he puts that he puts that red robe on and then just has this underneath and he's like, hey, come on in. <laughs> he's welcome swirling to, black. Crib, yeah. He's like, hey, you know, take a seat. So you, I heard you wanted to be an actress. Oh <laughs> Wine steam. Uh, okay, all right, let's do this one. I want to get out of this speedo as quickly as humanly possible because I feel really? ridiculous. Sure, sure. Move on. Jesus Christ. Get Gavin's reaction on the playback of this. Is it gonna be good? Let's see. I don't know what I was like, I'm, here we go. I'm gonna step on glass before I even get up there. Really? Yeah. Should have brought sandals. <laughs> <laughs> this is like some uh, art house film. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should do more nudity in this. And I really should have shaved. God damn. There you go. See, so you, so you, you can pull only it back. see it. You can only see it when it's against my white fucking body. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, you just I mean, shit. I wish there was somebody who was coming in and like giving me a fat sack of cash to spend on this thing, but like. I mean, if nobody does that, I gotta do it myself, you know? Yeah, you gotta you know it make it work yourself. Yeah, it's yourself. like starting a little business, you know? Oh, yeah, that's crazy, you know guys. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, you see this shit? You don't see this shit out here too much, though. Ah, uh, I wanna see it out here more, though. Look, there's a bunch of lively ass characters around here, you know? Yeah, you better go down to the beach, then. Uh, I know. You got all the muscles. Women you. like the firemen. <laughs> they want a fireman calendar. Dude. I don't think anybody yeah, believes that I'm a fucking fireman. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the fire off. <laughs> Man, you gotta be there some bitches, man. Like this one, like this one, like, oh, we're gonna get, get somebody. Get them girls wild out, man. <laughs> Shit, you gotta travel to Venice Beach, go Dude, out there. You're the third guy that's like, hey, you should get some strippers in this. Man, you gotta have women. <laughs> if you have women right with you, there. that's for willing to participate right to you. bring yeah. more. <laughs> we out here, we, we, we take a picture. Later, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, uh, Sarah. Uh, all right, hey, we're gonna take off. All right. When I lived here for two years, Eduardo and I would have a beer and a cigarette every like every 
other day, every third day or so, we sit in the back porch and he'd come by and ask for beer and a cigarette. And on the days that I wasn't back there, he'd yell at my fucking building to tell me to throw a cigarette down at him. Yeah. But that dude, he's cool. he's he's crazy. He's he's a true definition of bum. Like this guy does not want to get off the streets. He probably wants an apartment and that would be a good thing for him, but like this guy is so deeply acclimated into like the Long Beach bum lifestyle that I mean, he wouldn't even take the opportunity to get off it. It's so weird. It's crazy. <laughs> but there's other people like, um, like the guy named Walter, and there was a guy named Stevie. Like those people needed like help. Wardo never needed help. He just wanted a cigarette and like 40 cents. The moment you get paid, no matter what the amount, so don't be weirded out by this guy. Say. <laughs> well, you yeah, know, so it's. Done. Yeah, so it's like if it's a student project, I could I can be an asshole. Movie. These are the nitty gritty details. But the moment you're paid for You don't need a trailer. Totally out of your hands. Fuck that. I hate hate the way I look. It is awesome. Do you hate yourself? Yeah. I fucking love it. Yeah, Trevor's thriving. This is what you call thriving. LB. What does some of your tattoos mean? Uh, all of them have real important significance. I got them all within a six week period. This is the key. I got them all in a six week period because I can take a lot of pain. Because my life has been filled with pain. You don't even know what it's like growing up here in Long Beach. This key right here, this is the key to my mother's heart. This right here is the key to my other mother's heart. I got two moms. What you know about that? Gavin, let's go. Okay, take this close. Take, we gotta get out of here because I didn't realize how tight this sidewalk was. Forty bucks? Yeah, because he was my friend. I wanted to give him a good tip because he was a friend of mine, and I was like, I think it's cool that you got a job, man. You know, but worst haircut of my life, and then I also tipped him forty bucks. Wow. What, what, what are you doing, Tyler? I don't know. I know, dude. There's all these movies that come out that people just get so hyped on. And you're like, this is a bad film. Now look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is absolutely terrifying. Well, boys, look what we got here. Got ourselves an old fashioned clown. Oh. Alright, I can probably return the costume. Ah. <laughs> well, you know. Howdy, you, howdy neighbor. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Get that out of the street there. Is there any way that could be split into three bowls? I can give you guys two more bowls when I can split them just all. That's I think fine. we can do that. I think we can handle that. Because so, that was the problem of the film. Stop yeah. even? It's right. like his, his, his people's attitude and your atti it's attitude, it's people's attitude. Yeah, I think that's really important. Listen, Ethan, uh, no, Eliza obviously gets along better with everybody on set. I think he's a lot more easygoing. This is definitely his environment <clears throat> a lot more, where he's like, I think like hopping in and out of the car and filming in risky locations and being in the hood, seeing he's, how he's from Compton. Like, he's more comfortable. That's right, he's from Compton. He's from Compton, yeah. so it's like not, it's like a walk in the park to mm -hmm. huh? So like, I don't feel as bad taking him to like shadier areas and doing dumber things. Oh, thank you so much. Very much. Eliza, on the other hand, is like, also likes the content a lot more. Yeah. When I told Ethan about what was going on, he was like, are you fucking kidding me? You know? I never gave him, a, I gave him a script, he didn't want to read it, I don't give a shit about that. Robert never reads anything I send him. But, it's true. Um, <laughs> like, I want a shot of this. That's great. <laughs> it's just a problem when I have someone like that on set. And then I just feel like I'm being an enormous burden to them. I'm like wasting their time. And it's like, dude, no, this is just go have a good Saturday, okay? Give me your audio equipment, but I'll also have a good Saturday. <laughs> so, listen, what I'm saying is I wish we could capture on camera the amount of times Tyler looked at me with this look in his eyes of disdain for himself for thinking I would, I'm a smart person. 
It's like disappointment. <laughs> it's disappointment. Disappointment in, 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 in human himself. society. No, no, it's disappointment <laughs> in himself for thinking, why did I think that this guy knew what he was doing? It's, it's a disappointment. It's, uh, there's also a mental disappointment What a smart person with, with dumb decisions. That's, yes, that's exactly. A good way to describe you know what? Gavin. It's like he's looking at. It's, <laughs> it's like he's looking at like the epitome of failure. He's like, God, you were so bright. This was all <laughs> so, so much good. potential. You had so much potential, and now look what you've done. You've bought a bunch of wood, <laughs> and you <laughs> fucked They're it up. They're hammering out, out in the <laughs> middle of an apartment complex. Now we're hammering in a parking lot. We the we were. What was the Gavinomics that we were talking about? Gavinomics is the word I use to describe Gavin's logic in time management and money <laughs> management and just all kinds of uh, his critical thinking. It's 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 penny pinching and <laughs> corner cutting. It's penny pinching and corner cutting on usually the wrong. Place. We have we have a physical manifestation in in this. This is Gavinomics. This, this is Gavinomics at work. <laughs> your your tax dollars. Uh, yeah, I know. Whatever, I paid off a hundred, eight hundred dollars of debt to my mom today, so... What do you mean? Why do you have eight hundred dollars of debt? Because I spent my entire last paycheck on this film, and then I just didn't, had no money. Good and then I had God. to keep making purchases. Okay. Um, shoot. Do you want to... Should we try this or no? No. I mean, we, what we honestly need is a 1K. That's what we need. No, that'd be too fucking bright. We're no, gonna need the whole no, room. No, you can't do a 1K. Dude. Okay, 250. We like, need something mm -hmm. of, we need a source I have 250s, of, those are good. Yes, we can, you, we just need a source of, like, directional yes. light that we can manipulate. Yes, this is just too I, much. I have, I have and we also crap. need, no, we also need a lot more space. We just need a lot more space, yeah. So, it's fine. I know, Robert. I'm, I really appreciate that you wanted to fight for it, but like, I think, I think there's a perfect, there's a time and a place in which we can do things better, and we tried really fucking hard. God but damn. now we're just turning off lights. And this is, this is Gavin's soul going out little by little. <laughs> this is a metaphor. <laughs> it's spark. <laughs> This is like, this is, uh, yeah, all the confidence I had in this film just slowly going out. Oh, God. This is how I go out, you know? Listen, ideally, I'm going to kill myself in this scene. I'm going to kill myself in this scene. Is there a sacrifice scene? Yeah, it's going to be me. We didn't even, for a second, through the disaster of all of this, not even for a fucking second, have we thought about the fact that tomorrow we might just have to cancel. Period. Oh, God, God, God. Fuck. Give me a lighter. Okay, so here's our day tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, uh, we meet at the location at 8.30. Robert, 8.30. God damn it. Not fucking 30 minutes late. I'm on my way, which means that you're not even left the fucking house. Then we shoot in North Hollywood, the satanic cult scene, we do it right. The big problem is, is that we're not gonna have five people. We're gonna have three. Why'd you get married, Robert? Do <laughs> not have children for at least a couple years, because I need you. I'm planning at least two. Two, I want, I'm thinking three. Three years? Okay, yeah. that's good. We can make a couple films in that time. Um, Tyler's gonna have, what if Tyler gets one? Oh, Jesus, mm -hmm. no, no way. Mm -hmm. uh, Bye bye. I don't like lobs. Louise? We've been using lobs for like half this set. Are they okay? Are they making a lot of noise? I have because I haven't heard anything. Uh, kind of, they're they're cheapish. Fifty fifty. From what I from what I've heard. Oh, uh, okay. Did you sit down. Oh, for realsies? Yes. That was never told to me. Why do you think Tyler was doing that all the time? Right. How do you want this? Do you want the shade in there at all? The lamp shade? Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Blake, you, you can be start at the door and then you can turn around, you can pace back and forth in that little area. Yeah, okay? I'm just gonna be right here. Yeah, okay. This 24? He's the man right here. How's it going? Creative process from the outside. Yeah, yeah. what is your take on this? I'm glad it's not me. Alright, well, Blake, will you actually do a take, please? Yeah. 
Okay. No, 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 no. no, no. In the meantime, just track him. Okay. And... Excuse me. Action. Motherfucking dumbass, stupid little fucking shit! You always fucking do this! You ruin every fucking thing that was sex right in front of your face! You could have had sex right there and you fucking... Just fucking let it go! What are you doing? God! Why do you do this, you stupid fucking fuckface? That was like the worst fucking night. No, actually. Did I repeat that? <laughs> oh, really? Last night was a fucking disaster. I'm gonna throw this this at you right now. Uh huh. And I know you're gonna say no. I'm pretty good at solving problems, or script doctoring. Like, believe it or not, you're, I'm you pretty good at. You just did that, yeah. No, but I mean, even just like looking at the script, I can help you add in. I, I heard what you were saying, by the way. You were saying you can't get away with just jokes or funny gags, right? It's all yeah, about the character. True. That's, that's what the true. office is. That's that. That was their main. Um, that's what Paul Feig said. He said. We can't just, it, that's what a sitcom is. A sitcom is the Big Bang Theory, right? It's like fucking blah, 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 one-liners. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, one-liners. Yeah, but you do, I would still argue, you still need the one-liners in there, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's kind of, here's the thing, is like, that's like the duality with like this girl, Briarly, whatever her name is. Yeah. It's like, I, I, she is like a trained actress who talks about her fucking Meisner training, you know? Yeah. No, this is on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, I'm my, my, this. my future wife. Are you gonna, you're gonna, oh, dude, he's gonna try to sabotage me. God, I do not trust Tyler well, at all. But no, listen, but the, like, the, the thing is, is like, sometimes I'm not gonna be able to tell her, like, yeah, also, like, you know, we do a fucking clown in the sewer gag here. Like, there are just some, like, really dumb things that are also hilarious and can't be pretentious about it or else you, like, ruin the com it's a That's comedy. That's comedy. Comedy, comedy like, threads. It does this line that sometimes gets blurred between, like, being very serious about a character and intention and, like, making sure it works really well and then also just, like, having really dumb gags. Like, you know, I want, like, in this, when he's, like, t uh, fucking that character up there when he's, like, you know, oh, you fucking blew it, you know? Like, his line of like, you had two pieces of sex and you threw them in the river. Like, that's just a funny gag. But yeah. like, if he's not acting well, then it's not gonna fucking work. You know? So, and you had to get him to act well, you need a good actor and you need to talk to him about who his character is and he needs to be able to get in the right mode. And so it is like a. And then sometimes I'm just in a sewer in a clown costume, you know? <laughs> Let's, uh. Oh, fuck. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I like it, I like it, I like it. First, I for sure thought this was gonna be the prettiest shot in the entire movie. Now I'd be fucking astonished if we got this shot at all. Honestly, Gavin, you live and you learn, huh, buddy? Yeah, well, you live and then you spend six thousand dollars and then you just you don't really learn. Six thousand dollars well spent. Let me say that. Oh boy. Make sure let's put it down with enough space on the bottom. Your tie won't yell at us. Yeah. You do a lot of this thing. You put on your coolest clothes so you could look cool in this movie. And you end up being... That's what I wore to the concert last night. Are you fucking kidding me? You go in public wearing that? Always. <laughs> Always. All the time. Every day, Gavin. Yeah, you know, on special days. I Stop eat... It. Wait, <laughs> This is ridiculous. I eat at 6 p.m. Robert, Robert, stop trying to learn Japanese. Oh, this is just Japanese. really is not the time. I eat at 11. God damn it. Dude, Tyler, put the put your robe on. Let's let's please get this shot. I need to tear this whole thing down tonight. God damn it. It's the worst day of my life. <laughs> so far, buddy. I know. Come on, Tyler, Ty. I don't know what's going on, man. Let's do this, please. I'm begging you. I really want to get this over with. I'm okay. just like looking like clap up, real quick above the camera. Clap. Like, yeah. Ahead. Okay. Clap. <laughs> you want to see what happened? So, uh, a bird shat on the camera. It's pretty gnarly. Okay. The faster we get out of here, the faster we can be done with this shit. I asked you for a cigarette 20 minutes ago, and you ignored me. Oh, because I didn't hear you, you fool. Because I didn't want to hear you. I didn't hear you. Jesus Christ. I didn't hear you. Oh, yeah. Tyler's like, gosh, why is it that you don't hear me the first time I say things? Like, oh, really? Because there isn't the, the Tyler twice rule? What does that mean? Of oh, the, okay. Tyler, blah, 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 blah. 
What? I wasn't listening. That's on some days. <laughs> That's on every day. I don't know what I've that is. I've ever <laughs> been on set with Tyler. He looks at you with those glassy eyes like, I, I don't even know who you are. Is it on days that you smoke weed? I, don't, I can't put two and two together, man. Go do drugs. For a day of three scenes that I wrote like a week ago, also, I need to, Tyler, man, I really should have, you should have, I don't know why you did not come to me and Robert's meetings. A, it would have been more productive, because mm -hmm. Robert's ADD is just way too hard to manage by myself. I was supposed to be just making this documentary. I know, I and know. now, I'm doing camera stuff, and he's making the documentary. <laughs> it's all good, though. That's true, that's true, that's true. My... My, I, I don't know. I was like mad because like I'd go talk to my actors and my actors would be ready, and then you'd look at you guys and be like, "What's up, dude? Oh, are we doing something? Are we? Oh, we're we gonna do a shot?" And there's like one of you sitting in a fucking wheelchair. <laughs> God. You know we all change roles in the end. All right. What's going on? It's a very straightforward shot. Yeah, It'll probably he take five takes. He doesn't know what he's doing yet. He knows almost nothing about this next coming scene. And you do? Not really. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> Gavin is a great man. A Dude, my actors have been saying nothing but nice things to me, and you guys... Yeah, because you put on a facade. <laughs> Uh, you well, told me you did that. It. Yeah, well, I have to, you know? Yeah. What am I gonna be like? Yo, Spawn, get the fuck over here, dude. I swear to God, immediately. I'm no, I'm just saying. Speak to them the way you speak to us. Yeah. No way, are you kidding me? They <laughs> don't, quit don't like that. Don't be surprised, like, why they think you're some, like, Gavin is so professional. Wow, I've never been on a I'm not gonna be professional like with you. You're with my no friend. Resources too. This is it, my friend. It's like the last day of shooting for now month from now when we're closer to the final cut i'm gonna have to get some early early morning b-roll i know you don't want to be present for that but this is it dude at this point i was literally transferring footage this morning so we can look at it in king's buffet because we're going to celebrate like king's day and 16 days like 16 whole days of filming and it doesn't seem like that at all it, it fucking blows my mind that we did this for 16 days. And honestly, I can't even remember uh, most of those days. I can't even tell you what we did the second day. We did sax battle and then something in the morning. I can't remember. Dude, I started this in a, in a staying in a trap house. We literally, I, we literally got kicked out of the hood. We were not suited for the hood, apparently. And the hood wanted nothing to do with us. But that was the most amount of trouble we ever got in, I'd say. I mean, you know, some bad stuff happened. We lose a sound guy. You know, I have to pay out $500 because the actress gets her phone stolen. Some people, I canceled on some people because I had to cut scenes. Our footage was getting pretty shit. And so we panicked about that. But honestly, I had so much fun. Even though I think I had equal days of intense anxiety and misery about this stupid movie, most of the time, even when I was not eating or drinking or shitting and essentially living on cigarettes alone, I had a pretty fucking good time. Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> Tyler, you get a f official producer credit. Yes. For sure. Like, I was thinking about this. You do get producer credit because you, you brought all the gear. You know, that's huge. Like, literally every single piece of equipment that we used was from you, and you got all that gear at some point. So that that's not, not just half the production. That's literally the production. You know, if I had just brought everything I brought, we'd have just be making theater. Street theater. Terrible street theater only inconveniencing people. But because you brought cameras and stuff, you get producer credit. Robert is going to get DP credit. He's mostly just emotional support animal credit. 
honestly, when I worked with Robbie again, which I will, because I love that man deeply, even though I hate his guts most of the time, he'll be an AD. You're fired from camera work, Rob. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope he doesn't see this part. He'll cry. <laughs> I, I kept count of our budget until we got to about 6,200, which was two weeks ago. I think probably at this point we've got close to 7,000, which is pretty fucking good for 16 today, 17 days of shooting, that's 17 days of eating, 17 days of gas, 17 days uh, of paying for actors, almost 40 actors. That's, if there's one thing that's actually interesting about this film, it's the fact that we were able to wrangle 40 different people. Yeah. How many indie films have casts in the four, close to 40, period? Not even just like, you know, including extras and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. ours, like, 40 speaking roles, 40 individual fleshed out characters. That is that is an accomplishment in itself. Robert's stupid idiot. Alex will cut together all the scenes, and then I'll look at the scenes together. We'll organize them into a logical order somehow, find out which ones are actually good, and then try to highlight those ones, make them the the important ones, find out which ones are bad but we still need to have to flesh this thing out, try to get through those as quickly as possible, and then the ones that are absolute garbage, cut out entirely, and see what we have in the end. And then start making the next one. Immediately. Immediately. No breaks. It's called staving off depression. <laughs> That's what we do here. We stave off depression by making films. I tried to make a movie that was an homage to Long Beach. I don't know how much it's similar to what Long Beach is, other than the fact that it's literally just shot in Long Beach. I don't know what else it has to do with this city. I mean, shit, most of this stuff in here that's actually good is like me dressed as a clown in a sewer. That has nothing to do with Long Beach. But it rests within the vibe of what this city is, of a very bizarre and eclectic and varied and diverse place where a lot of absolutely ridiculous things happen and you've met these people in real life too yeah well, some of these things were totally stolen like yes there was no clown in a sewer but there was once a lady a crackhead got into a sewer and was yelling and some dude was yelling back at her trying to get her out and i was like this is perfect i have to i have to get in a sewer every day every day robert is late every single day. robert you're so late Robert, you're 45 minutes late. Every day with this, Robert. Every day. Whatever. Even on our last day, if we had you gotten here at 8 on 30, you wouldn't have seen that sign and we would all, we'd all have gotten parking tickets. It's not true. It's not true. Let me take this. Alright, come on. Let's get this movie Let's over go with. Zoom out, zoom. Come on. There it goes, there it goes. <laughs> we got it. We got the pigeon. Love her, dude. I just need a Jewish girl to love me. I will convert to Judaism for a Jewish girl, for sure. Report that. Oh, yes. Oh, dude. $7.99. Wow, that's pretty cheap. That is. This food's gonna be bad. King's <laughs> Burgers. I'm sorry. You made me put the camera on a tripod, and it just super limited me. And yet here I am now. Every time Robert gets bad footage, it's my fault somehow.
First look of at all, that. look at that. You're overexposed, dude. Is oh, Brooklyn that Brooklyn and Jostin? Yeah, I mean, not Brooklyn I, and Jostin. That's not even gonna make. That's it not in. gonna make it in. So what's the worst thing that's gonna make it into the movie? Um, you haven't Mark, decided. No, Mark the Hobo and talking to Stoan. <laughs> that is actually shot well, and it looks good. And Mark the Hobo gives a really good performance, and Stoan also does a good but, thing. But, but the script, the subject matter is not strong. You know what? It looks so contrived. Like it just looks so. Yeah, he's wearing fake. a suit. He's drinking a Modelo in public. Like this is like a. Uh -huh. This is like Tyler, the afterbirth of me. Play. What I'm saying that is that this character, the way he looks, the way he talks, is like if you took my idealized identity of myself as a young filmmaker, this is you wrote shoot this. it up and shat it out. Shoot it up its own ass. That's what it is. Gavin, this is you wrote it about you. Yeah, I know. That's obvious. That's not even subtle. A filmmaker who's like, I don't know where my career's going. And then a magical hobo comes and talks to him, <laughs> cheers him up. All right. A, a down on, on his All luck writer. All right, so it's the worst. Who, who just needs a break? The hatred Fuck. in myself. What? And like the disappointment right here. Look at this. Look at my. Look how sad I look. I look truly dead inside. Oh my god. That was the day I realized that I've wasted so much time <laughs> doing nothing. I truly do want want to believe, at least want to believe, that yeah. somebody can recognize content and be like, okay, it's clear that this kid is shooting with fucking nothing, but if he was given even a little bit of scratch, it's like watching those like shitty ass like YouTube videos. That's what I was when I was planning this thing. I was talking about YouTube videos. I mean, the, these kids are shooting stuff on like GoPros, all handheld shooting cutting on iMovie, their content's fucking hilarious. It's a different format, you know, they're trying to do a different thing, but their content's really good, but I know, I know, like, if they had money, they could actually make something really good. Those are good TV writers, and they're good actors and stuff like that. And so they've got, there's like something in there that's really good, uh, and that's what I hope, ultimately. Like, are you gonna have a lot of people like looking at this and be like, man, this is a lot of like flat lit wide two shots. And why is that hobo wearing Goodwill clothes? <laughs> you know, there's gonna be a lot of people like that and I'm probably gonna cringe my way through this fucking movie. I mean, is our stuff that great? It's good, kind of. It's really, Sometimes. it's at least a much more self-aware. I you think. know, at least, the, the at the very least, and this is why I was saying, like, the worst part of this entire movie is that, is the guy, you know, fucking Stone, yeah. talking to Mark, is because that's when it's hammy. It, it gets hammy, and it becomes not self-aware. Yeah. It's not aware of what it is. Like, that was me just jerking myself off, because I like to, you know, and I put that in there, but then what we should have been doing was a lot more the of the fucking... The way, they're watching us. You pay the bill, by the way. I don't, I'm watching you. I forgot my wallet. Uh, if you, like, if, you're, you're only gonna get better. Thank you. I think, with your movies. I told him that he could give me all the doc footage and I'll cut the doc. He's like, ugh, oh, now I have to cut this doc for you. I'm like, give me the footage and I'll do it myself. Ugh, oh, you're the subject. <laughs> what was that? Oh, dude. For the director. Oh, for the director. <laughs> Ice cream for, for the myself. director. I am a king. It's Gavin. To, like, I'm proud of you, buddy. People to do a good job when you're paying them so little or you're not paying them at all. I can't even see what it looks like. It's just gonna tilt down. It just looks like me sadly eating ice cream. There you go. Shoot. I should have got more ice cream. This is the footage that they got before Gavin jumped off the real bridge.